Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see something uh, new for me, uh, 3D animation with uh, BricksForge. So we're gonna look at uh, animating a headphone. So let's see how it looks like. Then I have my headphone coming and then the text coming in. Let's do it again. So I'm refreshing the page. Small anima entrance animation, another animation, and then the text coming in. So uh, let's see how it's done. So um, I won't go through the, the, the construction of the, the, the different elements, but I will focus on the 3D one. On the 3D models, basically, first you have to download a file. And that's, you can find few, few 3D, um, um, how to say, uh, elements on several websites. You can find that in the documentation of BricksForge on the 3D model documentation part. And the one which is interested, interesting is the Sketchfab. It's also recommended by uh, uh, BricksForge. And actually I found my uh, element there. So here you need to register, but it's, uh, it's free. And then uh, you can explore down downloadable elements. So you can select your category, when it has been released, and so on and so forth. So um, one point that you have to be careful is that it has to be .gltf format. And that's the only format which is supported. And usually when you download something from Sketchfab, you have, let's see, uh, let's see this one. Yes, GLTF format is there. You can download and basically that's it. The format is already uh, sufficient enough to be uh, downloaded uh, into the 3D model element like this. Then once it, it's downloaded, you will have to most probably there are to play with a few elements. Um, the BricksForge elements coming f with by default settings, but maybe it's not fitting what the uh, 3D model as how, how it has been set up. So for instance, I think the by default scale X, Y, Z was th three. And you see that I'm putting 250. Um, it's important to, to put the same, to not distort the, the, the element. Because if I move, for instance, you see that the format is not <laughs> really good. So if you play on the scale, play on the X, Y, Z at the same time with the same amount. Then I play a bit with the position Y and the rotation Y also. Then Canva, uh, did not change anything. Camera, um, I think I've changed a bit the position of Y and the position of Z. Uh, but basically you have to play with the, the uh, data, the settings to, to, to fit what you need because there is not one, one um, setting and everything, if you change one, one of the setting, it's, it's impacting the others in the sense that there is no, um, when I look for the for the metrics of um, 3GS because it's based on 3GS, it says it's on metric, but actually it says also it's abstract in the sense that I think all data are related to each other. So it's a bit complex, but you will see 
what, by manipulating the figure, you will slightly understand step by step how it works. Camera, uh, I said, light, I did not change anything, I think. Interaction, uh, it's how you can manipulate the 3D elements. So I just changed one setting is I disable the zoom because I don't want to zoom in or zoom out. The rest I left as it is. Animation, I did not enable animation and renderer, I did not touch. So um, let's see how it's done then on the animation part. So you see that I have several nodes, several animation in my timeline. Uh, first is I'm setting an opacity from zero. So it's appearing step by step. Then I'm doing a translate with certain data. I mean, X axis is not, uh, how to say, uh, pixel or VH or VW or percentage. It's um, relative to the other data, let's say. Um, for, it's the, for the moment, that's how I understand it. I, I, I'm just discovering it, same as most of you. But for the time being, it's as <laughs> it was said on several forums, it's abstract. So mm, for the moment, it's pretty difficult to understand. But by by touching the figures step by step, you start to understand how it works, basically. Then I'm... Ah, okay. Also, maybe one thing. What you have to do is to, I gave a class to the 3D models and I made, I'm animating this class and selecting animate 3D model. And then you, you have those things appearing, those elements. You have the choose to select the model, to change the model or the camera, or when it's the model, the position, the rotation of the scale. So when I did the translate, I used the model and the position when I'm using the scale, I'm using the model and the scale. And when I'm doing a rotation, I'm taking into account model and rotation. And I'm manipulating the data the way I want to get the result I need. Uh, I'm uh, enabling FOUC, F-O-U-C prevention. Um, then a translate left. Then I'm not animating the, the, the um, 3D model anymore. I'm animating the element itself. Then another rotate at the same time that f to animate the 3D elements with a 3D feeling, you have of course to re-enable 3D model animate 3D model. Then I'm moving the uh, text parts. Then the, the, the full uh, div that contain all the uh, title text elements. Then I'm making the subtitle appearing, then the text. And at the same time of the subtitle and the text, I'm animating the bar. Let's see again, maybe how it, look, how it looks like. You see there is a bar and it's coming in and then you have the subtitle and the text coming in. Once again. Okay. And also, as you can see, but I don't recommend because actually the 3D is pretty heavy in terms of uh, resources usage. So I don't recommend, maybe even on desktop, it's going to consume a lot of resources. Uh, for instance, um, there is 10 megabytes <laughs> for, this, for this animation. But you can imagine that on mobile, it's not perfect. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I would avoid to make it on mobile. However, just to see what it looks like, I made it. So it's working also on mobile. That's why I created a copy of the first animation, but I put a max width of uh, 991 pixels, so the um, um, iPad view, the tablet view, let's say. And for the um, headphone one, I put a mean width of 992. So the difference between the two is the translate on the left. You can see here translate left that will um, w won't work on mobile but again i i, I don't recommend to use it on on uh, on mobile um i think that's pretty it for today uh, sorry, it's for the explanation. I mean, for me, it's kind of introduction for the th for the 3D models of Briggs Forge. Uh, I spent some time to figure out how it was working, so I, I I thought I could make a small tutorial to to help you to try to discover the 3D models as well. So um, thank you for watching, and see you at another tutorial.